Thank you. You know, nothing encapsulates the ongoing foreign intelligence surveillance act fight better than Benjamin Franklin's famous quote, those who would give up essential liberty to purchase a little temporary safety deserve neither liberty nor safety. For years, the surveillance state has dangerously weaponized Section 702 of FISA as a vehicle to illegally spy on Americans. That's you, that's me, that's all our constituents. It's time for Congress to take a stand against this egregious, unconstitutional abuse by ending the warrantless mass surveillance of the American people. And that's exactly what we're fighting for this week. After all, the Fourth Amendment is not a suggestion, it's not a recommendation, it's not a proposal. It is the foundational law of the land. It is a bedrock constitutional right. Yet, as expected, the swamp is siding with big government instead of the American people, as they work to greenlight more 702 abuse and ensure the FISA reauthorization is done in a secretive manner. Could you imagine that? Could you imagine Congress debating in secret? No. Congress should never debate in secret. Congress, what Congress does should always be open to the American people, those who we represent. My conservative colleagues and I won't stand for this injustice because our liberties are on the line. And this week we will see who here in Washington truly protects those liberties. Because each member faces a simple choice. Will they allow illegal, warrantless surveillance of the American people to continue? Or will they safeguard their constituents' Fourth Amendment freedoms? I choose to safeguard freedom and liberty. And I urge members to join us in this fight to end FISA abuse. Remember what Benjamin, what Benjamin Franklin said. Those who would give up essential liberty to purchase a little temporary safety deserve neither liberty nor safety. Thank you. And now I'd like to turn it over to my friend and our chairman, Bob Good.